And, and first I wanted to thank all of Champlain, the trustees um, and President Finney that for bestowing on me such a great honor. And it, I looked at the list yesterday, I guess I've been kind of busy. Um, and, and like President Finney said, we lost two soldiers this week. So been very busy dealing with the families. But yesterday, getting ready for today, I looked at the list of the previous recipients of this honor. And I don't know how else to say it other than I was completely humbled. U.S. Senators, House of Representatives, Governors, Mayors, um, probably the finest citizen I know in the city of Burlington, a guy named David Boardman got this award in 1998. He was a mentor of my brother and I growing up. Um, so I'm very humbled, so thank you. It's, uh, it's great that my wife can be here, an 83 graduate of Champlain, and my mother-in-law, a 53 graduate of this college. You know, it, it's been said by a couple of the speakers already that you won't forget this day. I want, I want to ask everyone who's from outside the state of Vermont, all the new students in the class of 214, if you're from outside the state of Vermont, please raise your hand. Okay, all right, good, good, good. All right, you are hereby now Vermonters, all right? And you will remember this day and these first couple of days the rest of your life. I guarantee it. I remember it was a day just like today when I started UVM 30, a long time ago. <laughs> and it was just like this. It was clear sky, warm, low humidity. This, for those of you who are not from northern New England, this is what it's like in northern New England this time of year. You're coming into the best time of year. And I would argue that this is the most beautiful place in all of America, is Northern New England. <laughs> Carlin's list was small but powerful. The sunset from the third floor, to go down to the waterfront, walk up and down Church Street, have a cup of coffee uh, outside, uh, down at, at this place called Splash, which you'll get to know. I mean, this is God's country. It is the most beautiful area. In Burlington, we are small. We are small. But you'll notice that Vermont has a very proud history, and we do things much bigger than our size. So now that you are now all part of the Vermont team, we look forward for your next four years, but please enjoy these next couple of days because I made friends the first, the first two days I was at UVM. I made friends that are some of my best friends today. I'm not making that up. You're saying, oh, the, the guy, does, he's crazy. I'm, I'm telling you. You're going to meet friends in the next, over this weekend and over today that you're going to have for the rest of your life. In the book of Luke, it says, to whom much is given, much will be expected. Let me repeat that. It says, to whom much is given, much will be expected. And you're probably saying, well, hey, I'm a new Vermonter. I just got here. Why is he telling me that? I'm telling that because much is expected from you. Do you realize that 30% of our citizens don't graduate from high school? Th think about that for a minute. 30% of American young people do not graduate from high school. It's a tragedy. And you have found yourself at Champlain College on the, what'd you call it, uh, Professor, the, the uh, beginning of the new, you said it was trite. Uh, <laughs> the beginning of the new, convocation. the convocation, but what you're doing is you're embarking, you're, you're at the beginning of the embarkation of your, of your college career. Let's scratch that part. <laughs> The point is, this is a beautiful place for you to go to college, but the most 
important thing about your college career are the professionals sitting in the front. This is a world-class learning college. And I impress upon you how hard you're going to have to work, but how worthwhile the experience will be. I'd ask you to study hard. Please, study hard. That's what you're here for. But have fun. Meet new people. Do things outside of your comfort zone. Volunteer, like Carlin said, volunteer. Do things that you wouldn't normally do. Join clubs that you're not really sure, well, I'll try it. Try it. You can always, you know, not continue if you don't like it, but that's what college is all about. And of all the learning you do, it's the, it, it's the relationships that you're gonna make over these four years that will last with you for the rest of your life. It's such a great opportunity for you to be here. I just. You know, I'm not a math major, I'm a liberal arts guy, but last, I did a little rough math last night, and I think if you count from today to when you graduate, it's about 1,365 days. About, <laughs> 1,365 days. And what I would challenge you as new Vermonters is to take advantage of those 1,365 days every day. Every day. Learn. Have fun, meet new people, make relationships. But the last thing I'd like to leave, leave you with is this. It's all about service. And Carlin Trout really talked about her experience briefly of how it's impacted her. It's all about service to others. The people we have in Afghanistan, they're trying to change a very difficult part of the world to build a civil society that they can empower the people so we can come home. That's what they're trying to do. And unfortunately, people are losing their lives to try to do that. I'm not asking you to join the military. What I'm asking you to do is think about the word service. And John F. Kennedy said in his inaugural address back in 1961, he said, the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans, born of this century, tempered by war, and unwilling to witness nor permit the slow undoing of those human rights that we have always supported. And I'm telling you, you, the class of 14, you are the new generation of Americans that we're, t we're passing this torch to. And if you can find something that you can do in addition to your studies to serve others in our community, this experience will be that much richer for you and your class. Again, President, thank you. Thank you all, and uh, to the faculty, I have so much respect for what you do, and um, it's just a great honor to be here. Welcome to Burlington.